Hey there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Feels like forever since I've picked up the camera and filmed and this is feeling good doing this video this morning. The boys have just gone out, I've got the house to myself and I've been waiting to film this video for a couple of weeks now. So I'm gonna be doing my first autumn fashion haul video this morning. There were actually a couple of extra bits I was waiting for from Nasty Gal, but their delivery, delivery is slow on Nasty Gal. So they're not here, but it's fine. I'm going ahead. I've still got loads of other really incredible pieces to talk to you about. And I'm gonna put it all together, do a try on, a bit of styling. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, then hi, my name is Ellie, and this is not an unusual video for me. I love doing fashion videos, but I also do a lot of mum videos, vlogs, cleaning, so make sure you subscribe before you go. Also, can we just take a minute to discuss the fact that I have officially hit 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I feel like so many videos recently I've been saying, oh, I'm so close, I'm so close. Well, I have, I've actually done it now. So thank you so much. If you are one of my 10,000 subscribers, then 10,000 thank yous. Thank you so much. But let's get started. I've got bits from Primark. I've got bits from H&M. I've got bits from Misguided. I saw it first, Boohoo, Zara, there's a bit of everything. Everything that I can link, I will link. If it's not linked below, it's because I just, it was out of stock or I couldn't find it for whatever reason, but I will link everything that I can and I'm gonna get started. So here's outfit number one that I've already got on. So a real, real, real go-to look for me, to be honest, pretty much any season, but particularly autumn, is an oversized sweater with some leggings but as you can see i've dressed it up a little bit and i've got on my wet look leggings now these wet look leggings are from primark and they are the best wet look leggings i have ever owned they go on so easily they're so stretchy so they're not uncomfortable at all and they're like seven pounds or something they're folded up in a bit of like a cardboard sort of container. So don't look on the rails when you look for them. They'll be on like a display because they're on like little cardboard things this big. But if you see them, grab a pair because these wet look leggings are dreamy. So I've got these on and I've literally just thrown this oversized sweater over the top. The wet look leggings are in a small and this, I believe, I'm actually gonna check because I can't remember. I know it's super oversized. Yeah, I got a medium. So even a small would have been big, but I just love things huge. So I just sized up and I got a medium. As you can see, it's got a big Mickey logo on the front, which I just love. This is from H&M and it will be linked below. Also gonna talk to you about the boots. These are, I'll take one off so you can see them properly. These are the misguided Chelsea boots. And they are new in, I've been quick off the mark getting these beauties. They're super chunky. So they've got that chunky sole that I just love. They're really comfy because they've got this elasticated side to them and there's a zip up the side as well. And these are gonna be such a staple for me in the autumn winter to just throw on with so many different kinds of outfits, especially an outfit like what I've got on right now. I just think they go perfectly and they're super, super comfy. So I will link these boots for you guys as well. Okay, for outfit number two, I've switched up the wet look leggings very slightly just by changing the sweater and changing the footwear. So sweater wise, I have changed it for a misguided oversized sweater, so it just says misguided on the front. It's super soft, super comfy, still got that oversized look. I sized up and got a medium in this as well. I've kept it with the wet look leggings because I just love the look of these two together. But instead of making it sort of smart with the boots, I want to put it with these. So these are the new misguided chunky trainers that I am just living for right now. Love the colors. I mean, it really help if they were already laced, excuse me. 
there we go, got them on. These are the new misguided chunky trainers, but I love, I love the gray and the sort of camel on the sole and verdict, they are super comfy as misguided trainers always are. So I've just gone for a much more casual look here, still with the wet look leggings, but just the gray sweater and just mixing it with the chunky trainers instead, just makes it super casual. So oversized sweaters could be made a little bit smarter if you wish with a pair of boots or just kept super, super casual with a pair of chunky trainers. Okay, next outfit here, I, ooh, lost an earring, excuse me. Right, next outfit here, I've teamed with a maxi dress that I got from Primark like a month or two ago because it just made the shirt what it was. I needed a maxi dress to go with it. So this beautiful striped shirt is from H&M and I've been on the market for a blue and white striped shirt for a while now and hands down this is the best one I've come across. I got really oversized. I actually got it in a size. I got it in a size extra large um, you know when I'm normally a small so I suggest a real size up with this because that's the look you want to sort of go for so I've just draped it over the white maxi dress from Primark and I just love this casual easy autumn look and also I put it with the Chelsea boots I'm not sure how well these Chelsea boots go with this dress but I think it just about works but yeah the real hero of this outfit is obviously the stripy shirt which I could not recommend anymore very very comfy and they're very in at the moment so I've linked the stripy shirt in the description box I can't link the dress because it's Primark when are you gonna start doing online shopping Primark but this is linked and yeah size up is my tip so what I'm gonna do now while I've got on this maxi dress with the Chelsea boots is I'm gonna team it with a very oversized knit so I've tried on a couple of sweaters but this is my first real piece of chunky knitwear this is from Boohoo and I love it it's super super chunky knit as you can see it's got the high neck and what I really love is it's got the balloon sleeves it's kind of cropped but one way that you can really really wear a piece of knitwear like this is over a maxi dress like so this is gonna mess up my hair Fine, we'll go with it. Messy hair, don't care. So as you can see, you can literally just throw knitwear over a maxi dress. It is such an easy outfit and I just love that casual look that it gives. Yeah, the knitwear over maxi dress is just such a winner of a look for me. Obviously I've teamed it with the Ch misguided Chelsea boots as well. Super easy to just team together and suddenly you've got a summer dress which is now just an easy like cold day awesome outfit just by chucking this over the top so any sort of loose knitwear like this i just highly recommend and i will link this particular jumper in the description box okay this next outfit is an interesting one because i've literally just put on a short-ish knee-length smock dress but i'm going to show you how to turn this into a few different autumn outfits Obviously I have endless smock dresses in my wardrobe, but I'm not gonna put them away and treat them as a summer item. I'm going to transition them and treat them as an autumn item. First of all, so sorry about my white legs. These have not been fake tanned for so long. But I have teamed them with my Zara Boots of Dreams. These are the Prada dupes from Zara. So you've got a zip all the way up here, the most chunky sole you've ever seen in your life. And they are laced all the way up the front. I absolutely love them and they are so, so comfy. So I've got the higher leg boots with the shorter dress. So that works together for autumn. But the first outfit I'm gonna make using this smock dress is I'm just going to put a graphic tee over the top of it to turn it into a completely different outfit. So this one is just a very oversized tee. It is a size 12, so it's just super oversized in style anyway. And then I sized up a couple of sizes as well, just so it would look more oversized on me. From Misguided, did I say that? Which just says Original Panthers on the front. Any sort of graphic tee will do. I'm gonna mess up my hair again. Don't know why I bother brushing it. But there you go, suddenly you have created a completely different outfit just by putting this 
oversized tee over the top you've still got on your lovely thick winter boots and you could even wear tights with this if it was a colder day i could even team this with tights but on a day like in autumn like today i probably wouldn't need to but i just love this sort of look of just throwing the t-shirt over the smock dress okay the last three items i'm going to show you are coats not coats i'd say like jackets so we're not quite into the sort of puffer coat season yet so i picked my favorite autumn jackets one of them's actually called a shacket which is a new which is a new thing at the moment which is a shirt and jacket together shacket so I'm gonna talk you through all three of them. I'll start with the shacket, seeing as we're talking about it. So here it is. It is from H&M. And believe it or not, this is a small. It is very, very oversized, very sort of granddad look, which is perfect for me because that's the sort of look that I just live for. Super big pockets at the front. And it buttons up, but personally, I wouldn't button it up. There you go. That is jacket number one, the shacket from H&M. Like I said, don't size up. This is a small and it's huge on me. Luckily, that is a look that I really, really love. So if you love oversized, just get your normal size and it will be super oversized anyway. I love these massive pockets on the front. It's kind of like a wool mixed material. As you can see, I've just got on the same outfit. So I've got on the chunky Zara boots with the smock dress and the granddad shacket, which I'm just loving. And I'm gonna be wearing a lot this autumn. And it's, it was really cheap, I think it was like 39 pounds for a thick shacket like this, I thought was actually pretty good. Okay, so onto jacket number two now, which is the misguided balloon sleeve trench. So this was misguided premium, so it's their high quality sort of range not that the rest is low quality but you know what i mean i think it was about 70 pounds and i got it in an eight my usual size because again similar to the shacket it's super oversized anyway i haven't actually tried on this trench yet and from looking at it hanging up i'm a little concerned that it's going to be too long i am a short short girl and it looks to me like a very long trench. I mean, I'm loving the balloon sleeve. Obviously, if this trench is touching the floor, we have a problem. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's close. So here we go. Here is the balloon sleeve trench, which is literally kissing the floor. Like, I don't know if I can get away with it or not, but as a coat absolutely love it it is a dreamy dreamy trench i love all this detailing at the top and i love that balloon sleeve i was in the market for a really decent trench coat and this definitely ticks all the buttons another way you could wear the trench is just literally over the shoulder again i really need to like look in a full length mirror and decide whether this is too long or not like if i think it's going to be drapes traipsing in puddles throughout autumn winter that i'm really going to have to rethink whether i can keep it i've just had an idea because miss guy did do a petite range and i wonder if they do this in petite which is especially for short people because i love everything about this sleeves are so dreamy i just the length the length is um concerning me oh my god my hair trying on clothes after clothes and trying not to look like you've been dragged for a hedge backwards ain't easy right my last jacket i'm trying on is a leather jacket and i surprised myself a little bit with this one to be honest with you don't normally go for the leather but this was new i'm misguided I was sized up, so, tongue twister. I sized up, so I got a size 12, and I just thought this could be a really cool oversized jacket that's just a little bit different, especially if I was trying to dress up, going on a night out. <laughs> you know, girl can dream. It comes with a tie waist, which to be honest with you, I would take off, but I'll leave it on just for now. There we have it. 
There is your oversized leather jacket. I think it goes really well with the outfit, obviously, with the like Zara boots and the black smock. Like that goes perfectly. I like the fact that it's long. Like I said, I would personally get rid of this and just have it like that. I think I like it. I think, I think it's a keeper. What do you guys think? Obviously there's poppers. I would never do it up though. There's pockets here. I love a pocket. I need somewhere to put my hands, especially in the autumn, winter. So there you go. I think I like it. When I got this, it was 25% off. So I think normally it was like 40 something and I got it for like 30 something. So not like a super expensive jacket and something that would be a real sort of timeless piece in the wardrobe okay the last item that i've just realized i haven't spoke to you about and has been like hanging here the whole time is my trio bag i put this on here even though it's from a previous haul because it's just so transitional and will just be perfect for every season i mean it goes so well with the outfit i've got on now and i just love it it's from boohoo trio bag because it has one here one here and one here and you can wear it across like so, which works really well with this jacket, or just wear it on one shoulder. Oh my goodness, what's going on with my hair? Guys, time to give up, time to give up with the hair. I give up, I don't know what it wants from me today, but I'm shoving it up and ignoring it completely. I can't even shove it upright, what's going on? It'll do guys, it'll do. Do you know what, I've surprised myself with this jacket because I think it might be my favorite pick of the haul and I really really didn't think it would be. I love this one as well, I'm just a bit concerned about how long it is. So there's a couple of things I need to check with a couple of items in my haul but overall I would say really happy, really successful first autumn 2020 fashion haul. I'm sure there'll be more to come absolutely 100% sure so make sure you subscribe before you go if you haven't already every item that I can link has been linked in the description box for you guys watch out for misguided especially because they're doing loads of good sales at the moment like when I got all my stuff it was 25% off it might still be now I don't know but it's always worth checking like I said thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up every thumbs up counts and I'll see you lovely lovely people in my next video